Hey everybody, welcome back to Pop Views, where we talk about movies. And today we're going to be talking about uh, reviewing uh, Matt Damon's, uh, I guess it came out in 2017, mm -hmm. uh, the movie Downsizing. Uh, that was uh, directed by, and written by, I guess, uh, uh, Alexander Payne. Um, and it's about uh, a scientist in Norway develops a way for uh, him to reduce the size of people down to like five inches tall. And uh, Matt Damon's character decides to do this because they've developed this community that uh, is like a community of mansions. And so if you do this for less than the price of a house, you get to live in the lap of luxury. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, so that's the basic premise behind it. But uh, anyway, what did you think about it, man? Well, I went into this from what I saw on the advertisements for it, it seemed like it was going to be a comedy. Yeah. And I went into it expecting a comedy, and it ends up that even on IMBD, it says uh, that it's a uh, drama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it ends up being more of a drama than a comedy. There's a couple funny moments and stuff, but uh, I enjoyed the movie. I just found that it almost seemed like it didn't know what kind of movie it wanted to be. Mm -hmm. It seemed like it was trying to be a comedy, a drama, uh, sci-fi, all mixed up into one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I had the same impression by it, but, you know, by the uh, trailer. The trailer seemed as though it was kind of a cornball comedy kind of thing, and it really wasn't that at all. No. Um, it was a good movie, though. Yeah. How about you? What did you think? Um, well, um, I liked it. I really liked it, uh, but... Again, I mean, the, the, the trailer is very misleading, you know, and so I, I, like I said, I went into it expecting this cornball comedy kind of thing, that's almost a slapstick kind of thing, and it's not that at all. It's in, almost in the vein of something like uh, uh, Benjamin Button or, or uh, um, uh, Tom Hanks movie. Forrest Gump, oh. that kind of thing, where it has funny moments in it, but it's mainly a drama, you know. Um, so, yeah, I liked it, uh, but I, li I think I liked it a little more, more than you did. Yeah, I think you did, too. Yeah. I, I didn't think it was it was fantastic. Uh, I thought the acting was really good in it. Oh, yeah. You know, that, was, that was definitely good on about it. It's just... I think it's because I went into, to, into it expecting a comedy. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. really think that's what really so soiled it for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of the acting, um, you know, Matt Damon wasn't alone in this as far as names go um uh, also christoph waltz was in it and you guys may remember him from uh, uh inglorious bastards he played uh hans landa in it the the the, the jew hunter right you know uh and uh, i think this guy is a really good actor I, i'm surprised we don't see him in more stuff he was also in uh tarantino's other movie uh i, I want to say the hateful eight i think okay. it was or no, 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 no. It was Django Unchained. That's what it was. Yeah, two of them I haven't seen. Haven't you? No. Oh man, you got to watch that. I, I thought I thought I showed you uh, Glorious Bastards. No, I'm talking about Tango. Or, uh, oh, oh, Hateful Eight and Django Unchained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both pretty good movies, actually. Not probably not his best, but you know, certainly very good. Um, but one of the things I found about this movie uh, downsizing is that. Uh, it was reported that it took uh, uh, sixty-five, between sixty-five and ninety million dollars to, to produce this movie, and on its opening weekend, it only uh, grossed like nine million. Yeah. yeah. So, and I think the reason being is because of that damn trailer. Yeah, I agree. You know, I think people didn't go back to see it because they just like, mm, it's not really what I was expecting. Right. Everybody was saying that, I'm sure, when it first came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, all in all, I liked it. Um, I, my initial reaction was that I would rate it as an eight, actually. But I think I won't do that. I think I'm going to give it about a six and a half, seven. Yeah, I'll agree with the six and a half. Yeah, you know it's worth the watch. It's not. It's not horrible. It's a good movie. Um, well, Matt Damon spend... is great. Oh yeah, he, I, I like him in everything he's done. You know, I mean, he, he's just a great actor. I think, I, like I said, I would have enjoyed it more if I went in knowing it was going to be this type of movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it, I mean, it does make some unexpected turns. It has a little bit of a surprise in that aspect. Um, 
a little predictable, a little bit occasionally, you know, but it does make these twists in it. And so that kept the predictability uh, uh, at a minimum, I think, you know, right. but, um, but yeah, yeah. Like I said, I mean, I, I like Matt Damon. I, th I think he's a phenomenal actor. Um, this is the first thing I think I've seen from Alexander Payne. Uh, and, uh, you know, it not, the directing wasn't bad. It was pretty no. good, actually. But, Everything uh, was done well in the movie. It just... Not what we not, expected. Not what I expected. <laughs> and not that it was bad. Again, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. It's worth a watch. It's just not up there in my top movies of, of any way. It was long, too. Yeah, it was two hours and ten minutes, I Something think. Something like that, yeah. And and at times, because it is a drama, it, it seemed long. You know what I mean? Uh, but, yeah. But Anyway, what do you say we get out of here? Sounds good. All right. Until next time, folks, thanks a lot for watching.